All right, guys. Here we go. This is it. Streaming from the different location, EG office. You can tell I'm not where I normally am, and I probably sound a little bit different because I'm using a different microphone. But today, we've got the Canon reveal in two minutes. I pr it's probably the Canon reveal. God, if it's not Canon, I'm going to look really stupid. But we just got, you know, the, the b bunch of rat cards yesterday. Canon, some kind of rat, some kind of lightning rat or something. Uh, that's going to do something with stuns or something with recalls. Who knows? Uh, and we're going to have probably a trailer out in one minute from now. So, put your predictions in now. What's Kenan doing exactly? He's going to either make or break this Bandle Ionia recall, maybe slightly stun. You know, there's all the Kenan Yasuo copium, the Kenan Ari and the Ari Yasuo. They're all going to have something to do with stunning and recalling, presumably. Who knows? I'm sure it won't be Yasuo unless Yasuo actually gets buffed. <laughs> All right, guys. Ooh, this is it. <sighs> okay. Kennen reveal. We got it. Kennen storms the battlefield. Kennen. Okay. He's a one mana Yordle Bandle Ionia. When I'm summoned, to create a mark of the storm in hand. And it's quick attack. You've summoned the you've summoned the same ally five times this game. Wow. Okay. That's interesting. Okay. So presumably that can be also playing other copies of the same ally. I am a student of yeah, here's the Gust Monk in the Cloud Stance. Wind, that which has no form. Oh man. From angles <laughs> this is actually, I mean, a 1 mana 2 1 with Quick Attack is just a good stat line, right? Like, even if he's not leveling up, that's a very powerful thing. Alright. This is interesting. So every every mark of the storm uh, just like grants that mark. Extra hands never hurt. Oh, he can work with Kinku because that can summon more cannons. <laughs> now you will see my final move. All right, when he levels up, when he summoned, blocked, or attack, create a mark of the storm in hand. Oh. All right. <laughs> Wait, Kennen's pretty good. Like his base stat line of being a one-two-one one quick attack is already pretty insane. And I mean, if he just levels up, that's a bonus on top of that. Very good. Yeah, Kennen looks super solid already. Is that Valkaz? Yeah, it was something. Valkaz's eye. All right, this, this is actually looking like a pretty cool deck. I can't wait to see what the rest of the followers do. All right. Okay, so here we got everything. They should be in a separate, uh, in an actual image that I can see better. All right, Mark of the Storm is Kennen's token that just like gets generated when summoned. It's fleeting, and he makes more of them when he's leveled up. And it's the one that grants the enemy the mark, and if they have it, it, it removes it to stun and deal two instead. So basically, every time you play two marks, it's a stun deal two, sort of like a, a Yasuo stun, right? Then we've got Kennen's Lightning Rush. This is his champ spell. It's faster you mana. Recall an ally to deal two to anything. I'm going to have to move my camera at this point so you guys can see the last card. <laughs> But yeah, Kennen's Lightning Rush is a Bandle spell, uh, three mana fast speed. Hmm, deal two to anything is really, really powerful. The fact that it can hit Nexus is pretty insane, and it's a really, really good champ spell. Yeah, Kennen's looking insane so far. Then we've got Gust Monk and Cloud Stance, which we saw yesterday. Those were just the cards that, you know, uh, just this one generates the Cloud Stance, this one's main deckable. Ember Monk, a four mana three, three quick attack. When you summon another ally, grant me plus one plus zero so it's something that will just generate more value later it's a yordle as well although that tag doesn't matter yet risu the silent storm a five mana one one yordle when i'm summoned summon a storm cloud and the storm cloud is a seven three impact huh so when you play risu the silent storm you're getting a one one and a seven three impact for five mana which 
is not bad. I mean, the one one is a, obviously a good chump blocker, and you're going to be getting the you know the, the storm cloud for free on top of that. Seven three is going to be a bit vulnerable, and you're going to need to give it either overwhelm or elusive for it to do a lot. But that's actually kind of scary if you just like do an overwhelm combo with this. Like this will just blow the opponent out really really fast. You can use like retreat return on Risu. Yeah, it's it's very easy to recall this. So this is a lot. We haven't seen Ari yet. Presumably Ari is also going to work with Kennen, the Ionia card that's going to be working with these Ionia Bandle kind of recall synergy tools. And we'll have to see exactly how well she works together. Overall, though, Kennen looks nuts. I mean, it's a great card for Bandle Tree decks as well. Like a one mana Ionia uh, trigger is going to be solid. The quick attack is super, super good. There's a lot of just like general Ionia aggro style decks that might just be able to run Kennen. Like Ionia aggro or Ionia tempo is getting a lot better off of this, right? If you look in the past, a lot of Ionia decks have actually, you know, like Zed style decks, right? Kennen works really, really well with Zed. You don't have to run with any synergy, just like the idea of a one drop that works well in an Ionia kind of like swarm, just like, you know, semi elusive build, right? Something that's not going to be using the champ slot for something else. Um, Kennen could definitely fit very well there. So honestly, Kennen's super powerful. Uh, he's got everything you look for in a champion. He's like low cost, lightning rush is great. Uh, in terms of Ember Monk and Risu, we're going to have to see exactly like what the other support cards look like. <laughs> Imagine having to use Donna Dusk in the reveal trailer to sell us Kennen. Yeah, this, this is this is really interesting. There's definitely a lot you can do with this. Zed Shadows count for Kennen. Oh, I don't know. I, I mean, if, if the Zed attacks five times, I guess, but the Zed Shadow won't be counted as the same ally as the Zed, right? Oh, yeah. So Kennen basically is going to need recalling pretty much like cloning doesn't really work you're not really going to be able to summon the same ally five times with it just cloning maybe blades yeah oh does kennen summon with blades yeah that would work right that would work blade dance blade dance would actually level up kennen oh Ooh, no oh no oh no <laughs> oh it's a disaster okay well that looks pretty powerful actually just like, I mean, Azir Aurelia is a deck that can't really use a second champion because if it's running Azir, but it would be interesting to potentially build Aurelia decks with Kennen and using a second region outside of Shrima. It definitely becomes a bit more viable. I don't know. I mean, it still would need some pieces to fulfill, but it's definitely something that can see some experimentation. I don't know how valuable the leveled Kennen is going to be in terms of winning the game. Kennen kind of has Fizz vibes of just like a really good base stat line that doesn't get blocked, like Quick Attack versus Fizz having Elusive. And then like when it levels up, it's just a bonus on top of that, basically. Right? Sometimes you're just getting like free stats. But for the most part, you're playing Kennen for just like the base ability, right? And like the, the free mark of the storm you're getting. All right. But yeah. There's actually, there's a lot of other things. How else can you level up Kennen apart from Blade Dances? Sand Soldiers too? Yeah, Sand Soldiers would be able to level up Kennen as well. And it, it's, it's, it's not an I've seen. You can play Kennen after you've summoned five, uh, the, the ally five times. And so you can just draw Kennen on like turn five and he'll be leveled in that deck every time. Shark Chariot? <laughs> All right, I, I don't know. I don't know if we're gonna be wanting Shark Chariot, but hey, it's possible. It's possible. So yeah, no, this is this is pretty cool. I definitely like the idea of Kennen. I like this kind of like early tempo style of builds, uh, looking really really strong. Viego's minions can work five times. Poro Cannon, <laughs> Poro Cannon could work. That is true. You can't. So the Mark of the Storm doesn't actually do anything unless you're either recalling Cannon or leveling him up, right? Because unless you're recalling Kennen or leveling him up, you're not gonna be able to play two Mark of the Storms on the same turn and it's fleeting, right? So, well, I, I guess you use the first one being fleeting and then you use the second one later, but you'd have to either recall it, play a second Kennen, or level him up to get a second Mark of the Storm for it to do anything. But it's a fast speed stun. Ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty dangerous too. Like you'll be able to do some cool stuff with that. All right, but yeah, overall, first impressions of Kennen are that he looks super versatile, super powerful. I don't think that you're gonna wanna run him with a card like Yasuo. I, I, I know, I know, guys, the, the, the Kennen Yasuo. I know, guys, every time there's a card that says the word stun on it, we're gonna go through this, the Yasuo copium, 
But uh, unfortunately, Kennen is going to want to play for a much faster game plan, I think. Uh, you, you can go for like stun blowout kills, but Yasuo is not really going to be wanting to be ran in a deck that's playing at Kennen speed, right? Like Kennen is much more of like an aggro tempo card that's very work, could work well with something like Azir or Aurelia. I don't know if that deck can fit the champ slot, but in terms of speed and timing, that's the kind of deck that would be able to support Kennen, right? Yasuo is more kind of like controlly out grindy, which Kennen doesn't really want to play for. But yeah, overall, looks super good. And I'm excited to play around with a lot of these cards. I still really, really like the idea of the card we got yesterday. Which one did we get yesterday? The uh, the Tornado Warrior. This this one, I don't know if it'll be good, but it's a lot of fun to mess around with and just trying to recall and getting a few random keywords. This is actually... I, I can see myself having a really fun time with this. And I, I hope it actually ends up working. But maybe I'm on the Copium too. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. What do you think? Is there anything I missed out on? Any, any other combos that we can do with this? Shadows of the Past, Sand Soldiers or Blades, go get it with Risu. Risu is interesting, yeah. Go get it with Risu could actually be really dangerous. The thing about the Storm Clouds, though, is that because they have high attack, and because they, they have such high attack that they really want to be combined with Overwhelm to be good. So you, you want to combine it with, like, Might, or maybe Absolver in Shurima. Like, this is a very, very cheesy way to close games out. I think Stormcloud is actually kind of disgusting, but only if you can combine it with Overwhelm, right? It's kind of like a turn five Alpha Wild Claw that also has impact if you, you know, give it Overwhelm, right? It's got a really, really good early body for that. But a 7-3 stat line is not going to be very useful unless you give it Overwhelm. You can give it Elusive, but Elusive isn't going to be as reliable because Overwhelm is a keyword that wants to be applied to high attack units. Elusive wants to be applied to usually wider units. Like, you don't, you don't want to give Elusive to a high attack unit as much as you want to just give Overwhelm to it because there's a lot of Elusive blockers out there. Especially with an early turn like this where you can just, like, punch through Overwhelm damage. But yeah, Elusive is definitely another thing as well. Like, it could work if you have to be in those colors. But yeah, I think, like, Risu, for Risu to be good, you can play this a few times, you know, with something like a Go Get It. Risu, Go Get It. Yeah, th there's definitely ways of making that pretty spooky. Um, it, it's a very, very powerful on-play effect. But summoning a bunch of Storm Clouds might not be that useful unless you're actually giving them over the top. Yeah, it is scary, though. I think Ember Monk is probably looking kind of bad, but, I mean, we'll see. I, I, I don't know if there's as much value you can get out of this. Like, even, even with Ember Monk, like, even if you play a few things that will get it buffed, like, right away, it still feels, like, a little too slow. It's coming down on the wrong turn for Quick Attack, and often, like, turn four three threes end up being kind of bad in Runeterra in a lot of ways. But all the rest of these cards look really, really solid. Like Risu, there's a ton of combo potential with this one, a ton of different ways to play it. You can like recall heavy, you can overwhelm, you can elusive. Lightning Rush is a very good card for Kennen to have as his champ spell. It's solid to main deck. I mean, this card can be run in Bandle City without other synergy points. Like you might just see this card in some kinds of Bandle decks. It's really, really not bad. You know, the fact that it can deal two to face is really, really versatile um, for you know any deck that's looking to do that. And Kennen himself is great. So, yeah, no, overall, I love today's reveals. There's a ton of power in these cards. Like, these, these cards will be uh, competitive in, in some form or another. We don't know what the deck looks like yet. But it's also making me looking forward to Ari, who presumably will complete this synergy somehow. And honestly, it already looks like it has a lot of potential. So this could be a very, very competitive deck. Guys, that's it for my initial impressions of these cards. You know, overall... Very happy with the ones we had today, and uh, I'll be updating probably a video right before the patch actually comes out with more of like theory crafted decks built and more accurate predictions in terms of like whether things are going to be viable or not. Because it's really hard to say until we've seen all of the cards, right? Until we see Ari, we don't know how this is going to be built, and we don't know exactly how this might need more support cards to fit into a deck like Azir Aurelia. But uh, take care, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.